Hi guys, here we are at Sustainability Week 2019. I'm with all uh, Weather Road Engineering, a young entrepreneur and inventor here. Emmanuel's come up with a concept that could be, uh, what well, could be a solution to, to our road problems right across the African continent. I'm very excited to have him here. Emmanuel, please explain to our viewers exactly what you've come up with. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you for having me on set. Basically, my innovation is about a new tar or a new binder that doesn't cause potholes, it doesn't crack. That means for the whole uh, structural design period of your highway, you won't have any formation of potholes or any cracks. So basically, what, what we are doing, we are bridging the gap between the, 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 the limitations of road construction materials and the impacts of nature by coming up with a, 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 an engineering intelligence that consists of a advanced materials engineering, advanced soil engineering, as well as chemical engineering to make our hi highways more resilient. So what we have, yeah, we have got a, a test section that we are busy with at the CSIR. And what we, we have just done now, we have uh, engineered the, the subgrade, and then we have also engineered the sub-base. So to make them impermeable, that means the water that comes underneath, the, 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 when the sea level rises, it pushes up the ground water levels up. So at the end, it affects the, 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 the subgrade by saturating them. Then you've got a loss of uh, bearing capacity or, 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 on, or, I mean on the road. So what basically we have done, we have engineered the soil as well as the subbase so that water won't even penetrate the, 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 the tar from the bottom. So basically, you can have the, your tar for 20, 25 years, 50 years, 100 years, and you won't have any maintenance spend on it. It's a big cost. It's a big. It's a big cost saving on the fiscals because well, yeah, because government is spending a lot of money on on maintenance cost. Portals alone are costing us about 1.4 billion a year, and then at the same time we have got a, a, a annual a preventive maintenance, water maintenance that is costing government about uh, 32 billion annually, and the the, the government spend is only 9.2 bil, uh, billion, so we have got a backlog there. So basically the innovation is catering for the world markets. We have also got a high demand from abroad, yeah, from Canada, uh, there is also Denmark, so UK as well, Austria, all over the world, they are searching for new solutions yeah, into roads engineering so that at the end of the day the government can save money and also we can offer better road transportation infrastructure. Thank you very much.